What's going on my dudes, One Step here in Mortal Kombat 1 with the uh, using the Shijinko cameo challenge. And it's a challenge because Shijinko is usually regarded as like the hardest cameo to actually use online. He just requires a lot of mental capacity because you have to charge him. Then he's gonna utilize moves based on the character that you're fighting. And that can just be a lot while you're also fighting the character and using your main character. It can, it can just be a lot. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's check out what we can do. Also, as we get in there, my dudes, let me know your thoughts on Shijinko. Do you use him as a cameo? Do you want to? What are your thoughts on him in general? Let me know all that down below and let's get into this first fight, shall we? The reason why I mainly use Chameleon as a cameo is because I love that she changes throughout the fight. And Shijinko's kind of the opposite. He changes per fight. So right now we're going to be fighting Liu Kang. Thus, we're going to have Liu Kang's moves for our cameo. You just got to charge him and hopefully he doesn't get hit this entire time. Just like that. Wow, that's crazy. We can't come in for a minute too. Ah... Uh. We got Shijinko now. Let's go. Perfect. Ah, see, it's, it's, it's using that kick and then uh, an actual move, too. Oh, that's a pop up. Shit. I wasn't, I, I, I knew that, but I did not expect it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, dang it. Okay, okay, Wu Kang. The grab. When can we actually call Shijinko out? Like, I want to call him out all the time. Oh, that didn't actually hit. Why did I not block any of that? I was like, yeah, no, it's totally fine. I'll just take all of it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Round two. Fight. Okay, so we got a low projectile with him. Yeah, low projectile. I see that now. I wonder if he's got the an up version of him because I know a lot of times he'll have that. Let's see. I guess not. And the grab. Okay, the grab combo. I'm really focusing so hard on trying to use Shijinko right now. It's like not even funny, bro. You got a low projectile. That's kind of cool, though. I use it again. Get him out and charge him. Perfect. Oh shit. Armor break. I really gotta get that down, dude. Yikes. Dude, I was like, I'm gonna waste both my armor moves like that. Okay. We got fully charged to Jinko. We can go for the uh, bad cameo. I think it's down back cameo that is the launcher. All right, Liu Kang. No, Shijinko, what are you doing, my guy? Ah, oh, I should have ducked that too. Dang it, man. Dang it. Okay, it's okay. We got the. Oh, I forget we can call that like whenever we want to. It doesn't have to like be in a combo. Are you kidding me? Can you call him during a grab, maybe? Oh, we do have a different version. Okay. We got Liu Kang's teleport. How can we use that in a combo? Interesting. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was actually kind of hot. We actually utilized him in a combo like that. Oh, scary at first, but once you really know what moves he's gonna offer, he's got three, the forward, the back, and then like you do the down back into it up. Oh, that's rough. And the problem is I'm not sure if any of the moves he offers is mixed. Like I know we got the low projectile there. That was cool. That'll be good for mix later on, sure. But like out of all the moves he brings from every character, what kind of uh, mix or utility does he bring? You gotta 
fight a lot and fight the entire roster to really know what Shijinko actually brings to the table for you as a cameo. And and that by itself is is the real challenge. All right, we're fighting a Tanya. This will be super interesting to find out what we get uh, using Shijinko. Like I have hundreds of hours in this game and I don't know the moves that he offers for every character. All right, Tanya, let's see what we can do with Shijinko. Oh, okay, all right. Dude, what? Oh, thanks, Goro, for that. Appreciate it. Can I, call, I wish I could call it Shijinko. He'd be a lot better if you can call him, like, right now. You know, like, during during a combo. That'd be a lot better. We actually utilized that. Holy... I did not expect that at all. Don't hit my cameo, please! Ah! He's out of commission for like what seems the entire fight, dude. Goodness. Okay, okay. At least we're doing some good stuff. Like, so he's got this the launcher. I wanted to see what his up cameo round. portion is gonna be. Fight. I did, I did not mean to teleport like that. I was trying to do my cameo and then up, and I guess I pressed down up, and that teleported me. It's cool. Okay, we gotta call those grabs a lot better, dude. No, yep. Oh, we were gonna use Shijiko there. Dude. Dude. Very nice on that. Okay, I'll get, Oh, shit. Okay. Damn, Ugh, this is all really good, but sucky for us, I guess. Can we get a projectile, I guess? We're gonna fatal blow and uh, see what we can do. Will this kill? Will this kill? We didn't really use Jujinko that much. I, this might actually kill. Oh, this is gonna be game. I didn't even really get to use Shijinko that we, we found out we got project yeah that's game okay well I mean we got projectile and then a combo center we kind of utilize I mean I'll take it so what I'm seeing so far with Shijinko is that you have to one really master the charging of him and then in your combos you gotta find the, the best spot to put him because as he you know only certain moves are good for like the air some are good for like the ground and that all depends on what moves he's taking from the character that you're fighting and, and learning all that again that's that's the hardest challenge here we've had a couple really interesting Takeda. fights and now we're going on up against that Takeda I am very intrigued to see what he takes yeah. from, from him. All right, again, I wish, do he should at least start charge? Come on now. I couldn't even use him there because he was too busy charging. Oh, and then the mids and the overhead combo. Kata, you love to see him, man. He's saucy. He's got some good stuff. Damn. All right, what can we do here? Okay, so the forward is just a, not, not even like a trap setup. It's just a... Can we control that? Can we control where that thing goes like we can like we were playing Takeda? We gotta charge it up. Jump in saved us there. Oh, his back. I, I just risked it. I wanted to see what it, I want to see what it would do when it was the Rekka. Can we do that three times in a row then if we have Shijank? If we have Shijanko? Shijanko? Oh, that is in interesting. I wanna, I, I gotta test that out. I gotta see what we can do. Why did I do that? I'll tell you, I don't, I don't know why. Okay, hold on. Oh shit, change, change course. Oh my gosh, we can use his Rekka. Holy, that's sick. That's cool, that's awesome. That's not, I do, I never use that. Ah, I gotta get, I gotta get better at that part too. Okay, here comes here comes Janet. Oh, you missed me, you missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. No, I see. I pressed uh, pressed back forward because I was trying to do back up and then do the forward cameo. Oh, that cost me the round. I didn't mean to do back forward X. Dang it. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's see. If we can do the back. Oh, we get the we we gotta control that spacing too though. So we, you and Shajinko, you gotta play him like Takeda. Oh man. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try that. You gotta hold back after that, dude. Damn. That is. I was thinking, see, if we can call Shajinko right now, that'd be so sick. Damn it. Give me a meter, please. If he was smart, he would have uh, fatal blow, so we can't break. Oh, there it is. Damn, that's game, isn't it? Damn. Uh, yo, if we actually fight a Homelander, that'll be really cool. Just because I don't know what Shajinko does from Homelander. Yeah, yeah, be Homelander. I want to find out what he... I mean, Quan Chi's cool, too. So I was like, okay. I was like, dude, pick somebody. Oh, my gosh. He's going Frost Homelander, eh? Okay. Very intrigued to see how this is going to work out. We got to fight Homelander and call Shijinko. There we go. We got you, Jinko charged up. Let's go. Oh, no. The low overhead mix into the low freeze. Doesn't that damage scale pretty hard, though, for him? Like, yeah, 30%. Is, oh, never mind. Never mind. I guess not. Jeez. All right, let's try it. Oh, okay. We got the laser. Oh, because he was hit. Oh, my gosh. Is that safe? Oh, he got the duck off? Oh, yikes. All right, cool. I'm just done for trying to go for the overhead, dude, honestly. I mean, uh, for that wake-up attack. Let's call Shijinko. Oh, he had the armor and it hit us. Right. I'm trying to focus so hard. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to be like, what, what, what can I do with Shijinko? Yo, that was a stun? Uh, yo, I'll take it, my guy. Uh, is that a mid? Oh, no, that, that's high. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, I hate I hate to use that storm cell like that, but man, when he's like one percent, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Does Shinko have charge? I want to see what his up cameo is going to be like. Let's charge him up a little bit. That's no fine. The grab. Just because that gives us time to Shinko not get hit. Oh, get the double low. Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay. Yep. I wish Shinko could save me here. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? I thought that was going to connect because it was uh, jumping. Oh, yikes. Call him in. Oh, I thought that was going to connect and stop him. That's why I did it. Ugh. Oh, man, you hate to see it. After playing with him, as you guys just saw, for more than a few fights, I'll tell you right now, Shijinko is a... First of all, he's a ton of fun. But second of all, he is, without a doubt, the hardest cameo to truly master out there. And if you do not know what your moves are doing or how to utilize them, you're going to struggle. And that is the hardest part. You got to go out there and use Shijinko and fight the whole entire roster, learn what moves he brings to the table per character, and then learn also how to utilize that with your character's moveset. And that is the challenge in of itself. I wish 
Shijinko would come in charge when the fight, you know, first starts. And I wish you could at least call him, like, if you're getting combo, like, that way you can always control the charging. But I feel like you're spending most of the time making sure he's charging and not getting hit. He definitely needs some work. He, again, he's a ton of fun to use, but I feel like there are just other better cameo options out there with what he offers and then with what other cameos offer as well. That's all my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you like Shijinko as a cameo? Do you not like him? Do you use him? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. Turn that bell on so you don't miss a thing. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.